Hello everybody, it's Emma from MisfitGardening.com and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be giving you guys um, a bit of a tour out in our garden so you can see how our raised bed plot's coming along and what things are starting to look like and also some of the challenges and things that we've faced recently. So stay tuned and find out a bit more. This is the first bed that I planted and in here we've got um, onions and we have elephant garlic. Um, it's doing pretty well, um, you know, all things considered. We've got had a lot of loss due to wood lice and um, pill bugs, sow bugs and stuff kind of munching on things. There was a row of carrots but they've they've been munched on by um, various critters and um, the onions are going to flower um, we're actually letting them do that so the bees have got something to kind of come um, and forage on I'm not too bothered um, really about if it makes the onions um, taste terrible or go soft I'm not after you know onions and things that are going to store for winter I just want something you know that I can use that's fresh um, so I'm quite quite um, pleased with how this bed's been going um, in the far far corner if you just take off the stand should be able to show got some sorrel here um, it's also known as lemon spinach which is pretty good we've got some strawberries a couple of um, sequoia juneberry strawberries that are in here got a carrot these are the peas that I'm growing. These. And they seem to be doing really well. Um, I bought them just because they have this absolutely stunning purple flower. So hopefully we're going to get a, a good crop from here. Um, we started them off on these twigs. And oops, since then we've, we've built this cattle panel trellis. Oops. Um, which was super simple we just bought two eight foot panels and we've wire tied them together and actually we've wire tied them all the way down and the hummingbird feeder that's in here so all the way through and this is tall enough for me and I'm like 5'8 there's plenty of headroom um, we moved the composter out to here um, a bit of turn while I remember um, just because it's easier whilst we're clearing beds and things to put stuff straight in into here uh, this bed oh, um, this one's also got a bit of a problem with um, wood lice and, and in fact most of the beds do um, I think whether it's the mulch that I've been putting on I think that's probably the biggest um, cause um, we've been reusing um, materials that are within the garden this we made into like a hugel culture bed um, so this is definitely having lots of problems with sort of wood lice and things from the, the wood and things that's rotting down um, but in here we've got some strawberries with we put my teeth back in um, we've got more of the sequoia um, June bearing strawberries um, these all down here are salsify and scorsonera and they're a heirloom European vegetable um, which I'm quite fond of um, I planted some if I can see oh Boston pickling cucumbers down here um, we've also got um, nasturtiums that are growing um, and I've got some of those ground cherries um, or I think yeah ground cherries um, is what those are so they're going to be climbers as well and we've got a couple of rogue sunflowers coming up um, sadly I put in a bunch of salad in here but none of it's come up and I'm guessing that's because of the 
the wood lice eating it. Um, in this bed with the sweet potatoes I actually planted another set of heirloom veg. Um, this time it's these guys. Um, I've never grown melons before um, so I'm quite excited to be trying these. Um, I've never had a greenhouse in the UK so being able to grow these outside is pretty, pretty cool so I'm very excited about that. Um, this is the tomato and basil bed um, with no basil really at the moment. Um, these tomato cages I got from uh, Gardener's Supply Company. I'm going to be tri trialing them this season. Um, my husband basically saw them on Amazon and asked, hey, um, are these any good? And I said, I don't know, let's let's give them a try. So that's what we're trying. Um, I think he actually asked if they be worth the money. Um, so we'll we'll check them out and find find out. Um, we've got a little bit of basil growing here. It's not looking very happy, but it's it's hanging on in there. And same with some of the tomatoes. So let's go over to it. More strawberries. And um, looks like there's a ripe strawberry there. That looks pretty good. Um, we, we've had a few late frost casualties with the tomatoes. Um, got some peppers growing in here as well. Um, there's some parsley behind it. More sorrel. And there's a hazel. Um, I think the, the biggest problem with some of these has been water and recently we've just put these sprinklers in so um, hopefully they will fare a little bit better. Oh, this, this guy looks like he's coming back to life so that's good and um, at the very least I've got some fresh strawberries. Okay we've got some slightly bigger tomatoes over here. These are definitely the, the champion growers. Um, they're doing really well so that's good. Um, I've got some patty pan squashes coming up in here We've got some beans these are purple beans bush beans um, another tomato some peppers as well more strawberry plants um, over here this is a um, three sisters bed of um, painted mountain corn which is a high elevation corn um, I think that one was bred actually from Montana so it should do fine here in Utah. Got lots, lots of beans coming up, um, but as you can see, these are being nibbled on. Um, no, no squashes coming up yet. Um, we've actually put in oh buttercup squash in here. Oh no, there they are. There they are, growing in the corner. So. Um, a little bit later on when the corn's a bit bigger I'm going to be putting some climbing beans in here as well so they'll grow up the corn so actually this was a, another um, heirloom variety that I got from Baker's Creek heirloom seeds and they're I'm really surprised actually these have all come up that I planted so that's really good and the one that I didn't think was growing is actually coming up this little guy right here um, this side, a uh, slightly different story, this was the glass gem corn and there's a lot of, a lot of space here, kind of things that haven't come up. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if it comes up in a, the next couple of weeks or so. Um, again I had wood lice in here that are just eating on everything. Um, we've got a couple of different squashes in here. We've got um, the Ute Indian squash, um, which is native to Utah um, in the southwest. We've got, yeah, more, more woodlouse problems here. You can see that's pretty, pretty badly chewed. And then we've got some other squashes growing out here. But yeah, this glass gem corn hasn't done very well in terms of germination. I mean, there's a, a whole seed packet in here. And I think I've got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty plants um, so far. So that's that's not very good. 
um, especially in comparison to to this one so we'll, we'll see we'll see how that goes the peach tree is pretty well laden with fruit again this year um, I've got I've got my earwig trap down um, this is just a cardboard tube with newspaper that's been wetted and rolled up in here and then after a few days we'll just take it and throw it out to try and reduce um, earwigs getting up into these lovely fruits because that happened last year and that was pretty terrible like you go take a bite out of a lovely juicy peach and you get a mouthful of earwig not delicious but you can see these are just fully fully laden in here so I'm pretty excited about it. This is one of the newly put in beds. Um, this is all sweet potatoes and some sugar pumpkins at the moment. Um, there's going to be another archway going over here once we clear up all the debris and get another bed in for the arch. And this one's similar. We've got sugar, pump sugar pumpkins and sweet potatoes. And again this is going to be grown over an archway as well um got some other things to plant in these but not quite decided what i want to put in um we had to move some raspberries so they're in a pot and we're trying to um save save these because we've seen the bees diligently working at them recently so hopefully we'll get a good a good harvest but we've um <coughs> i just go go back a little bit you can kind of see the progress that's been made there was a, a long bed here which is where the raspberries were so that's now gone um, to make room uh, peach tree is still here uh, you've got three beds well four if you include this one three beds going through here three beds here some right by the fourth row and another three here so this is what was previously um, the garden where these first two sets of beds are. I extended it last year and created this space which is where the third set of beds were. Then I extended again, this was growing onions last year. Um, but we're just going to be um, putting smaller beds and things in here to try and use the space. And then put in... Um, this one um right by the the herb garden which is going to be moving and then right where i'm standing if i back up a, a little bit more right in line with this set of sprinklers um we're going to be having another bed and some more of those cattle panel arches going through so um there's going to be quite quite a lot of growing space um with more smaller beds that are going to get added into these wider areas um just to really sort of use you know all of the space um there's a lot of weeds that come come up here and um even with mulching it can get quite difficult to um to care for really especially when you you work long hours um you can see here this is where we've been all kind of working after we had the fence put in um just all the soil and stuff got kind of dumped here so we've got to work at leveling everything out and putting all these things in um but you can just see everything's covered with bindweed absolutely everywhere which um is really difficult to eradicate once it gets a hold and if you till this up it's going to make it worse so we've just got to try and figure out the best the best way for us and um, we've got a little grapevine in the corner there that's come back so we're going to try and train that to a nice um archway or something over over here um to try and get it where we want it but that's that's our garden so far so i'm going to try and um do an update every couple of weeks to show you guys how it's all coming along because it seems to be every couple of weeks when we're adding new beds so um What's growing well in your garden right now? Um, drop me a, a comment below and, and let me know what's growing. Until next time, I'm Emma from Misfit Gardening. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye-bye.